Well, you've heard the saying, my heart skipped a beat. But for some people, that's really a chronic condition. Joining me right now is Dr. Tom McGeldery from UAB Medicine. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Oh, sure. Happy to be here. And your title is an electrophysiologist, is that Correct. right? Okay. Arrhythmia, that's what we're talking about today. We hear that this is pretty common. People have little skips in their heartbeat, but it goes all the way from something that's benign to more serious, right? Sure, it could be a number of things. Uh, some people have just occasional skips. They mm -hmm. feel kind of as palpitations. Other people have episodes where their heart starts racing suddenly, mm -hmm. be very uncomfortable, mm -hmm. often associated with the feeling of dizziness and lightheadedness. Mm -hmm. uh, other people have um, uh, an irregularity to their heartbeat mm -hmm. that can, can actually be a pretty serious issue and be associated with stroke. So that would be something that you would definitely need to take care of. If anyone feels like they just have the small palpitations, should they still consult uh, with a doctor to make sure that, that things are okay with them? Well, it depends on what they're feeling. So if somebody just once in a blue moon has a skipped beat or an extra beat, then that's probably not anything. But certainly if someone has sudden onset, fast heartbeat that uh, they're symptomatic with, or they notice a profound irregularity in their heartbeat, then I think they should see their doctor and get a heart monitor or an EKG mm -hmm. so that we can see exactly what's going on. Is this sort of a genetic condition or can, can our lifestyle affect it? Are there risk factors involved? I think all of those are true. Mm -hmm. So with some of these arrhythmias, uh, genetics play an important part. With other arrhythmias, uh, mm -hmm. lifestyle and other issues such as high blood pressure, sleep apnea, uh, and things like that can be significant. And you want people to know that UAB is a world-class facility, of course, and a great place to turn to if they have any of these conditions. Well, we certainly feel that yeah, way. Yeah. I, I think when anybody looks uh, for a doctor, they want someone who is familiar with treating their condition, uh, that uh, sees a lot of a lot of patients. And um, at UAB, we're fortunate enough to have the resources not only to to offer. Uh, services that uh, that everyone in the community mm -hmm. can offer, but we can also offer uh, enrollment in clinical studies and new technologies. What kind of help can be provided to patients with an arrhythmia? Well, uh, sometimes reassurance is all that we need okay. for benign arrhythmias. Other times, uh, people can have an extra electrical pathway in their heart such that electricity travels down the normal conduction system and then loops back up this extra electrical pathway. We can do a procedure called ablation that is curative in, in wow. almost all patients. So mm -hmm. that, that's very satisfying as a doctor because sure. you take somebody from a disease state back to health. Right. Um, and um, Sometimes as medicine? Uh, medicines uh, mm -hmm. uh, can be uh, helpful as well, particularly uh, in those patients we talked about that might have the irregular heartbeat, the atrial mm -hmm. fibrillation. Uh, medicines, blood thinners can uh, significantly uh, decrease the risk of stroke. Okay, yeah, I think there's a great resource, the resource online, uabheartbeat.org. You can go to that website and you can take a, an online heart risk assessment test. You also have this free cookbook that people can print up um, that's featured there as well. So certainly when we were talking about when your lifestyle plays a role into it, you can kind of uh, go ahead and address it. And you can make appointments through this website as well. Absolutely. All right, again, it's uabheartbeat.org or you can call 1-800-UAB-8816 for more information. Thank you so much, Dr. McEldery. We appreciate it. Quite welcome. Thanks. Love UAB, mm -hmm. a fantastic resource in the area. They're going to be with us all week long. All right, we appreciate their input as well. Coming up, we're going to make sure that your glasses fit properly. I didn't know that there was such a science to this. Uh, you got to be exact. Yeah, Dr. Schaefer shares that with us when we come back. Stay with us from Old Town Helena.